Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Macros are small programs that record your keystrokes as you perform a task and then save the actions you performed as a Visual Basic module, a type of program file. When you run the macro later, it will repeat your keystrokes, thus repeating your actions. This is why they are great for automating repetitive tasks. For example, if you wanted to create a macro that would place your company's name and address information in the upper left corner of a document, you could record a macro as you entered that information once, and then run the recorded macro to do it again in the future. It would repeat the exact same keystrokes that you entered, effectively replicating the process instantaneously. While you can see advanced options for creating macros on the Developer tab in the ribbon if it is enabled, you can also use the Macros group that appears on the View tab in the ribbon to record and play back basic macros that you create. Now in this lesson, we will examine how to record a basic macro using the commands found within this group on the ribbon. To begin to record a macro, you can click the Macros button in the Macros group on the View tab in the ribbon, and then from the drop-down menu that appears, select the Record Macro command. This will open the Record Macro dialog box. In the Record Macro dialog box, enter a name for your new macro into the Macro Name text box. Note that macro names cannot contain spaces. Now next, select the template or document to which you would like to attach the macro from the Store Macro in dropdown. It will default to Normal, and the Normal is a macro compatible document template, which is the document template that new macro enabled documents are based on. Now a macro can only work if it's attached to the actual document in which it's used, or if it's attached to the document template from which the current document's produced. So if the macro is one that you want to have available for all documents that use macros, then selecting the All Documents Normal.dotm template choice is a good idea. Otherwise, just select the actual template or file to which you will attach the macro, and note that that would have to be open in Word if you wanted to do that. Then click the OK button to start recording. Now, while recording your macro, you cannot use your mouse very much, and you should minimize your mouse movements during the recording of the macro. Instead, try to use your keyboard as much as possible. Now, once you've finished recording your macro, click the Macros button in the Macros group on the View tab in the ribbon. Select the Stop Recording command in order to stop recording the macro. Also, if necessary, you can choose the Pause Recording command from the button's drop-down menu to pause the macro while recording. You can click the Macro button and then select the Resume Recorder command in order to resume recording the macro when you're ready to continue. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.